Josh Curran from Yapoon in central Queensland, here racing the Off-Road Cartel 41 Jimco. The red dust and the landscape that we raced through, it, you know, it, it's so beautiful and the, to use the word almost majestic, it's a bit magical. Like you will find yourself racing along sections of track, struggling to pay attention just because of, of, of how nice the landscape is. <laughs> Everyone that's racing here, they're definitely, you know, when you come to Fink, you come prepared to have, you know, a, a good time, that's for sure, and, and to get the snot beaten out of you in, in a race car, it's not easy, so, yeah, it's an awesome event. Race, one, two, three, Arrived in Alice Springs this morning, and we've come straight out here to the Alice Springs Off-Road Racing Club to uh, get a bit of testing in, and uh, also run in the ring and pinion. So we're having a bit of a debate in the shed as to what prep work needed to be done. We've just uh, new bearings and stuff in the motor and we haven't touched the gearbox in a while. Uh, so we were checking the, the gear clusters and all the, the dog gears to make sure they were good. And uh, during that time we noticed a fair bit of um, metal stuck to the magnet inside the gearbox, and which isn't a good sign. So from there we found a couple of massive chips off the teeth of the pinion and this was only two weeks ago. So we had to order the parts out of Fortin in America so they, they didn't actually get shipped until the Thursday. We were planning to leave Saturday, but um, we didn't get the parts until Monday morning. So we had a mad thrash to put the gearbox back together, uh, put the race car back together, and then a quick lap around the house block, make sure we had first, second, third, fourth, and reverse, and then loaded it up onto the truck and started driving straight out here. We're just going through the process of running it in properly here today, uh, taking it easy. We've got to heat the gearbox up, allow it to cool, and do that a couple of times. So we'll just uh, tick all the boxes in our prep and then uh, we're pretty confident that when Prologue comes we'll be able to feed it some fat and, and have a good time and, and get stuck into the whoops and hammer it which is the part that we really love about this race. Last time I prologued, I didn't have the greatest run, so it was nice to get that monkey off the back. And actually, we, uh, we're sitting a bit better than expected. We're in, we're in 37, which we feel is a pretty good place. And, um, you know, it's kind of close to where we ultimately wanted to be. And so we're really looking forward to getting into race day tomorrow. As you can hear by the noise, that's all the work that's happening behind me. Uh, we've got a few little things we've got to fix up just before, uh, before race day tomorrow. We noticed a little crack in the frame, so we're welding that up. Uh, but other than that, it's pretty good. So we're just going over, checking our wheel nuts, our tyre pressures, shock gas, and uh, making sure all our nuts and bolts are all buttoned up and we're good for tomorrow.
pink race uh, day one. So we're down here in the Apertula overnight stop. Uh, we've just uh, made it in. So we're gonna have a quick look over the cars, make sure they're right and in a good condition to head back home. So just check the fuels, the oils, the, uh, have a quick look at the shocks and stuff like that. Make sure all our bolts are tight and uh, turn it around and get it ready to go home tomorrow. We had a few uh, slight moments, I guess you could say, on the way down. Um, probably wouldn't have been that bad a moment except for what was off the side of the track. There was a couple of big V drains that we ended up uh, having to bounce through and then stay hard on the gas. We sort of run up a bit of a tree and he really had to put the hammer down to get over it. But that was the only time I was a little bit worried that we weren't going to get out of what we got into. So, but no, it was all good. I'll tell you what, this is the, probably one of the highlights and one of the reasons you love making it down to Bink is the overnight stop. It, it's just got a certain feel to itself, doesn't it? Like, all everyone around the campfire, that spirit, that camaraderie ship. A couple of little moments, nothing like yesterday. Yeah, right? my, all my blower and intercom pulled out, yeah, and I had to yeah. try and fight to get that. So I was just waving at Josh like a maniac for a while. <laughs> I want to thank Off Road Cartel, uh, Conflict Films for doing an awesome job with this video. Uh, Toyo Tires, Race Wheels Australia, uh, Overexertion Clothing, uh, Air Signs for the awesome wrap on the uh, on the race car. It looks fantastic. Yeah, vintage, right. it looks yeah. vintage for the uh, for the 40th year, and PMD for the race suits. They did a fantastic job in, in helping the whole theme we wanted for this. 40th come together. I'd just like to thank Josh and Dan yeah, too for the opportunity to get on board. It's been awesome. Yeah, yeah, very good. Heck yeah, and Brenton killed it. I, I put him through a few moments, but he uh, <laughs> he never once wavered or got nervous. So yeah, awesome. And yeah, Dan and Dad, um, we couldn't do it without those guys. They worked tirelessly on the car. We had a few issues last night, as you'll probably see, and um, got the car going good. And then Mum, all the girls who stayed at yeah, home, like our families. Yeah, all the family, everyone helped out. It, you just can't do it by yourself. There, there's no way. And, and a massive thank you to BT. He flies up from Brisbane to help us prep the car, and we would be totally stuffed without him doing what he does. So we're it's all worth. Yeah, heck yeah, it's all worth it for moments like this. That's for sure.